This Lightfoot fella and his boys lived up to his name. Trek back to their campsite was a walk in the park for them. Jane, Psst. hey. Simmer down, boss. Be patient. What's the plan? I'm not losing people to this guy. Plans to keep your head attached to your shoulders. Think we can do that? Your hands aren't tight. Can you grab the guy up front? Do your thing. Fight and get us out of here. <laughs> us two plus the Secret Service against 20 armed men. Not liking those odds. We have the numbers. Dante, you're going to get us killed. Do they sound like they'll let us leave? We need to wait until they fall asleep. Too risky. They'll sleep in shifts and wake the others if we try anything funny. For once, I agree with your gunslinger there. Better to hang tight. Wait for the cavalry you mentioned. That's right. But I gotta admit, you sold them. Quite the line back there. Mm-hmm. I've never been rescued by cavalry in my tenure. I can see why. Who'd want to stick their necks out for the tax man? We are not tax men. Agents of the Secret Service carry a duty to this country to make sure men like your boss don't destroy our currency. For the last time, I don't know how that counterfeit money got there. Hey, you settle down, a lot of you. Jane. How long you reckon before Faith gets back? How would she even find you? Sheriff, you're looking at the best tracker this side of Dakota. You don't think I taught my girlfriend a few tricks? Spare me the details. I left a trail for her to follow. Please tell me that's not my expensive brandy. Sorry, boss, but Dutch will pick up the scent. Faith will lead him here. Let's hope she's faster than the rain. Hey, Violet, you okay? We are at your mercy. <laughs> Faith hasn't let us down before. No. I mean the goddess. I can feel her. Feel her? Is she here, right now? Yes. No. I, I just feel her. You believe this oracle of yours? Like I said, I didn't know what to believe, Sheriff. Goddess or not. We arrived at a longhouse cabin compound perched on a cliffside. Some of his men were already cutting down nearby trees. <laughs> Jane! You don't have to sit here with the Cravens! Join us in the cabin! I insist! Actually, I prefer to stay close. My boss here is scared of bears. <laughs> oh, bears can smell the weak, but are otherwise harmless. So what's on the agenda? I remember you telling me you're letting the goddess decide the fate of my friends. Indeed. Where is this goddess? Shh, shh, shh. Can you hear her? The lightning? <laughs> and thunder! <laughs> my, my! It will be an incredible judgment tonight! She's brought her sister, Bronte! That's the point I figured he lost it. You think? We must prep now. In the meantime, say your goodbyes to your friends. I suspect many will not make it. You've gone mad. Stop this nonsense. Let us go and you'll have no trouble from the Secret Service. We got more important business than your gang here. Ah, gentlemen. Defoted counters of the coin. Do you not see how you directly enable our world to be defiled by greed? You will pay for your sins just as those before you. That's when I finally saw it. His men erected a ten-foot post. Same as in Yankton. Heck, 
Even the Secret Service boys put it together. It was you. You massacred an entire town, and for what? Because you felt their existence was an affront to your god? A, a goddess of the lands! <laughs> yes, goddess! Now, one by one, she too will decide your fate. Line them up! I knew I had to act fast, but outgunned and outnumbered, odds weren't in my favor. I only had one option. Let me guess, you decided to finally use your words. Wait! What are we waiting for? Your goddess just got here, right? Maybe give her some time to settle in. The goddess waits for no one! I, 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 know, I know that, but maybe we should wait for her to... Ramp up? Hmm. She does sound weary. Yeah. I'd be too after all that traveling. Heck, maybe we all gotta eat first? No good judgment on an empty stomach. Don't think your goddess would be much too pleased if you messed up from hunger. I could see the gears turning. More importantly, his boys stopped dragging my friends to the lone posts atop the cliffside. <laughs> uh, she was right about you, the practical one. Goddess talks about me? Oh, no. Until recently, we had a friend guide us through the harshest plains. Incredible frontierswoman. Mentioned her friend Calamity more than a few times. When I pressed, he described Kima. Everything from her wide-brim hat that's seen more days than nights... Her deep laugh, and dead-eye marksmanship. She was with the nomads? She left us a few days back. Said she had something important to deliver. She say what? Or to who? I don't tangle with the affairs of my brothers and sisters. I only light the way to salvation. That night I spoke to the nomads, and learned they tie people up to posts during a rainstorm waiting for the perfect bolt to strike him dead. Sometimes, they help it along, if you know what I mean. And your friend Kima was all right with that? Doubt it. Otherwise, why would she run off? Come now! Let's feast as we await the downpour! I needed to know what he knew. If Kima crossed his path, then it's likely she was still in the area. So I joined the gang at the cabin. Much to the disappointment of your companions, I'm sure. Don't go in there, Janie. No, she must. Can't you see the questions in her eyes? Some answers ain't worth it. I'll be right back. Hang tight. This Lightfoot fella scolded us for moving horses, but he and his boys had a big hog roasting on the Spitfire. He even offered me whiskey. Which I refused, of course. Of course. This is hard stuff, Miss Jane. Sip wisely. I'm no stranger to a bit of butt. Tell me something, Lightfoot. You boys got yourself some good whiskey, clearly enough food. So what's keeping you on the roads attacking train cars? Oh, <laughs> there's more to life than a full belly and friends. We must rise up against the unjust, lest we become them. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you, Calamity Jane? Sure, but I'm also learning to pick and choose my battles. Fight too many, and you start to forget who's friend and who's foe. Indeed! That is why I trust the goddess to illuminate my path. If she spares the lives I've deemed craven, then I will respect her wishes. Always! Just that simple? Life is not as complex as it seems. 
<laughs> ah, Kima used to say that all the time. Life ain't hard. Till we found ourselves in enemy territory and things got tough. And yet, here you are, among us. All because you surrendered your will to the goddess. There was no surrender, unfortunately. When I saw you free the horses, I knew you'd surrender to a greater instinct. Protecting the animals from harm when our victory was imminent. It shows you have compassion. Oh, Kima told us many stories of your exploits. At first, we naturally believed them to be larger than life, but here, witnessing the good deed with my own eyes, I see she was not just singing your praises. Is that all Kima told you about me? <laughs> Thanks, but I ain't hungry. <laughs> of course! Not while your friends starve outside, yes? Something like that. Our guest of honor will not feast unless we also feed the cravens. Take portions outside. They may enjoy a last meal before their judgment. That don't seem right, boss. They're cravens. They're on trial. We will see what cravens are among them after. Hmm? It's wet out there. Then you must hurry, lest you join them for the rudeness you're showing our guest. I'm out. No disrespect, boss. How did she come to ride with you and the nomads? Oh, it was merely fate. We found her clinging to life among the reeds. What happened? She never confided in us. However, we administered the test, offered her up to the goddess, and... <laughs> she lived! Lightning didn't strike her down? No! She survived all two days of the raging storm. When we cut her down, we knew she was one of us. It took some days for her to heal, but she saw the light and joined us. What'd she seem like to you? Joyous! <laughs> she was good at the banjo. Crack shot, too. I was sad to see her go, but I understood her path was dark. What do you mean, dark? There was a weight on her shoulders. She tried to play it off and be merry, but I could see it on her mind's eye. She had work to do. She say where she was headed? Well, you're mighty determined to catch up with her. It's just... been a long time. In this world, you ought to keep an eye on your friends. So I see. No, she didn't say anything about her travels, but she left us with a parting gift. What's that? <clears throat> Here. Our bread and butter. He handed me a coin minton plate. I hadn't seen one up close in... well, never. So how'd you know it was real? The imprint of Lady Liberty smiling up at me. Kima left this for you? <laughs> Even taught us how to use it. Make your own coin. In the off chance we were in a city too big to take. I'll be damned. She tell you how she got this? You ask a lot of questions, Miss Jane. How many minting plates were there? Just the one. Why? They come in pairs, one for each side. Though I'm sure your Secret Service friends already knew that. Why won't you abandon the Cravens and join my cause? <laughs> uh, thanks. But I got enough adventure as is. The offer shall remain. Till you decide to bury the hatchet and run. <laughs> what? I said the offer still stands. Not drinking, huh? I know what I heard, Sheriff. Wild Bill's dead. I know that. Then there's no way you could have heard his voice. Bill or no Bill. Wish I listened. Bring him! Let us begin the ritual! Hold on there. We can't do this. That would be the goddess's sister, Bronte. She is ready, and so are we! <laughs> Stop! He's a war hero who's done nothing wrong. He fought to protect you, to protect all of us. We all pick and choose our battles for our own gains, Calamity Jane. 
Leave him out of this. There's still time. Sit back and watch the divine beings who rule our planes! <laughs> Lightfoot was in complete bliss. His cronies started pulling everyone to their Get feet and lining me. them up, we one by one. The secret service. Alec was pushed up towards the cliff. Whoa there! Come on! Go with grace, Lieutenant! I won't miss a second time! I was close. Close enough to wrestle the pistol away, but still outgunned. They tied Alec to the post, then all eyes were back on Lightfoot. Friends! Let us turn to our goddess of nature, aided by her daughters Estrapi and Bronte, to deliver judgment on the Craven! <laughs> Their crimes extend to the defilement of our land by the train behemoth and containing animals that were meant to roam free as nature intended. My fingers curled around the whip, ready to disarm and take Lightfoot hostage, until I heard the low growl. <laughs> oh, the line pounced on our captors. It didn't spare him the same courtesy Lightfoot did. <laughs> Shoot it! No, 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 he's with us. Dante was right. Lion was ours. Only had a taste for Lightfoot's gang. Artemis! <laughs> you brought the spirit of the mighty gang to our trial today! <laughs> I took my chance. Disarmed our great pretender. Then, I shot right at Alec. Freed him from the ropes. Could you aim any closer? What have you done? Sorry, Lefford. But I got a duty to these people. Uh, seize the Cravens! We must not give up! So you fought the Nomads. That's just it. I didn't have to. Lay down your arms, Nomads. You're outnumbered. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot the lion. Wouldn't dream of it, boss. You made it. Retreat! Lightfoot broke free of my grip and took off into the night. His Nomads followed. Hi, my name is Josh Musser, and I'd like to thank you for listening to Calamity. Visit www.twistedtangent.com for details if you'd like to work with any of the cast and crew. Don't forget to visit our merch shop. Each sale goes to support the show and helps us keep it ad-free. Links are in the description. Now, for the very talented Calamity stars. Sarah Ruth Thomas as Calamity Jane. Nathan Sager as Lieutenant Alec Townsend. Gianni Machigrano as Sheriff Boyd. Ketabel Ansari as Faith Johnson. Enzo Fortuni as Dante Cortez. Lily Barba as Violet Silva. Josh Musser as Lightfoot. Robin Robbins as Wild Bill Hickok. Samuel Vistula as Agent Spence. Paul Warren as Agent Mills. Mike Queller as Vernon Johnson, and Andrew Gomez as Nomad One. The incredibly hardworking Calamity crew are as follows. Written, directed, and produced by Jules Siege. Casting by Sandra Kayume. Sound design by James Finlater. The Calamity main theme is composed by Kevin McLeod. Art direction by Jocelyn Combe. And special thanks to Den Valdron. Calamity is distributed by Transistor. One account, multiple pods.